Criticate! Hey, welcome hey. to Sonic Mania. We just skipped a little bit of the opening cutscene, and that's kind of important, but whatever. Cutscene. <laughs> uh, no, it's beautiful. It's Tails flying a plane. It's Tails flying a plane, but the animation is beautiful and fluid. <laughs> oh, we missed. Yeah. Tails flying a plane. I, I think missing a single <laughs> second of this of this beautiful game. Like, uh, visually, is... Look how expressive all of the animation is. It's lovely, it's wonderful. Yeah, uh, it's Sonic fine. Mania just came out this past Tuesday for us. I yeah. played through the whole game. Jacob has played through some of it. He doesn't like it. I love it. So... I, I, I said... I, it's not that I don't like it. It's that... You know, update. I'm not playing. So you're on your own. Oh, so, okay. <laughs> well, that's... Yeah, that's what I was maybe asking. I, maybe... Shit. Maybe you, I was going... Well, okay, so... Oh, I am playing. Okay. okay. I'm Tails. Cool. So, so Jacob doesn't like this game so far. Uh, yeah. And I very much so do. I mean, it's like the... It's it's as good as, like, Sonic 2. It's as good as Sonic 3. I don't agree. I think it's way better. Because I'm not a huge fan of Sonic 2 and 3. I mean, I mean that in, like, it's at least as good as Sonic 2 or 3. Okay. Uh, but, like, it, it touches on a lot of the problems that I have with Sonic. Um, like, like this. <laughs> like what? I'm not doing anything. I'm just going forward. Yeah, and I think that's fun. It's barely anything. Uh, well, I think that this game has an advantage. You know, I'm just going to not play instead, because <laughs> otherwise I'm not going to be focused enough to talk. Okay, Because uh, sure. this game requires a lot of focus, actually. And, and you, uh, yeah, okay. So you say that, and then you immediately <laughs> take a really simple hit. I take a hit, and then it doesn't matter. Well, yeah, whatever. It it's just matter. fun, Jacob. It's not, though. So, okay. So I think this game is really, really fun. Uh, I love this segment. This is neat. Yeah, so sort of. the, the, the point of this game, fast. I love this game. Uh, I, I think this is a really interesting game because it's it's a game that makes you choose. Uh, th this specific mini game is what I'm talking about. Oh, uh, oh yeah, yeah. So so you could either collect the blue orbs and go faster to be able to collect the the um, chaos emerald faster, mm -hmm. or you could prior towards collecting rings because the link the rings are your life. Yeah. Uh, and so late game emerald stages are really hard because you got you got to prior towards and choose. And the fa and the more uh, blue orbs you get, the faster your mock. Uh, speed at the top goes. Yeah. So the faster you go, the harder it is to control Sonic. So if you want to uh, make it harder to collect rings once you're faster and just prioritize going really fast and getting trying to get the emeralds as fast as possible, that that could be your prerogative. Or you can collect the rings. I think it's a really interesting uh, thing that that prioritizes. Obviously, this stage. I, I don't is easy. think it prioritizes either. I mean, you're supposed you have to collect both to win. So it's not like you're making a choice between speed well, or life. But you need to you need to strategize when you're going to collect. There each. are points. There there's there's uh, choices you need to make. So like one thing that uh, obviously Mark Rose Water I love him to death. Um, Who's that? The the lead designer of Magic the Gathering. Oh yeah. Um, he he says there's a difference between design uh, like um, a decision and a choice. Uh, a decision is like something that'll affect the long-term game okay. of what you're doing, and a choice is just like, do you want A or B? And I think that that's a choice. Like like in Sonic, the choosing speed or life is a choice, uh, not a decision. It's it's not. It it won't affect the long-term game. I. Because you have to you have to get both. I but, believe. That in the later stages, have you, have you played many of the I have game not. stages? I uh, Admittedly, I ignore the Chaos Emeralds after the first one. <laughs> exactly. Because <laughs> fuck them. So, I I disagree, uh, and I believe that late. I was specifically talking about late game stages. Late game stages, sure. And that is when that comes into play. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you do need to collect both, but you but the strategy comes in when you collect both. Sure. Uh, and so it, like that screwed me over plenty of times. So. So this is the first level of the game. This is Green Hill Zone. It's the first level from the first oh, Sonic game. I hate that. And the basic plot... Yeah, that's dumb. The the basic plot of of this game is Sonic is caught into a, a tizzy of getting sent back in time, that's kind of. fucking cheap. Uh, jeez. It's fucking cheap! I didn't have any chance to respond. Okay. They didn't warn me about it. Sure. So, uh... <laughs> you fucking... Dick. Well, I'm trying to summarize the plot! Okay, summarize the plot. Uh, so Sonic sent back in time, uh, and is is sent to, uh, to various points in time and space throughout his career to, uh, or, or including new levels as well, yeah. uh, to try and develop, uh, uh, or try try and stop Eggman. Whatever. Yeah. It's, it's it's a basic <laughs> plot. Yeah. It's, there's not whatever. Much to stop it. Eggman. You have that's, to stop Eggman basically. and and his hard boiled heavies, but in the end, the hard boiled heavies. That's the name of the enemies. <laughs> is it? Yeah, that's it is. Cute. They, they have to. You have to stop them because they turn on Eggman at the end. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, 
Uh, that's spoilers. Yeah. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so like one thing that shit. I think is great about this game uh, is well, that was um, that was I think I think something that 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 makes the Sonic the classic Sonic oh. gameplay good is that it that does awesome. get hard uh, later. But I think right now you think yes. I don't think so at all. Well, you didn't get to later. You stopped I, playing this I game. I stopped playing this game. I'm still in the later stages. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> just because I, I think the platforming it. challenges are, are harder later. But I think I think uh, something that that um, magnifies the exact like speed of it is by the ring system, because of the fact that uh, when you are running fast in a Sonic game, uh, you will get hit by this. That's just that's just a fact. And so by making it not one-hit kills or a life bar. Uh, it, it prioritizes the fact that you can just keep running, uh, and and uh, so so there are hits that you take, and it doesn't matter that much. Uh, and and the, the main <laughs> challenge of later comes into the the platforming, uh, and not you, falling or not getting crushed. You say that as though it's a positive. I think of it as a negative, especially with the decision to add bosses. Like you saw with Eggman just there, all I did was keep hitting him over and over. I didn't give a shit if I got hit, because all I have to do is pick up one ring and I'm fine. That's the first world boss, Jacob. Yeah, so what? It, sh it shouldn't be piss easy. And this is a theme that continues through Jacob, it's bosses. a children's game. I guess, but you bitch on Pokemon for being too easy, and that's a children's game too. Well, yeah. I, I just don't think Pokemon <laughs> is fun. I, I think I think running fast and, and gaining momentum is fun. And I, and I but think there's no, the thing that's... Uh, that's goal oriented. That I, have, is, I have a problem with momentum in this game specifically. I think momentum in this oh, game is really God. Fun. Can, can you defend that? Like the fact that there's a, a spring I, that you can't be warned about? Okay, so I think that is for um, the speedrunners, the, the people who have played the game multiple times. I think jumping over that yeah. specific spring uh, and, and going fast is part of learning the game. And that's that's kind of what that's makes. That's not fun. Well, you're you're going on a different route right now. You're choosing to go on the high route. That spring's supposed to send you back into the low route. So the the thing about this game is is uh, Sonic games. This is a throwback to obviously classic Sonic games. Yeah. So, classic Sonic games came out in the early '90s when when oh, shit. Uh, new games were harder for kids to come by, and so to uh, and they were generally shorter. Uh, and so this game is shorter, but it makes uh, it makes. It's um it round it, it's rounds you're gonna crush yeah no. yeah it it's it makes its rounds through being like a game by uh and, and and keeping the player engaged not by padding it out not by doing whatever it gives you multiple paths to take but I, I, see I look at that and I look at this game in a game like Mega Man where yeah you take uh th there's still challenge and there's still replay value and there's still like play this game over forever. But they don't ever do anything cheap. They still warn you when something's gonna come. They don't expect you to have played this game 50 million times already. Uh, I highly disagree with that. That's and not I'm a huge Mega Man fan, they and still, I, I played through all the games, but... They, they warn you, though, when a trap is coming. They, I, they warn, you, warn you when something's gonna well, happen. Why did you jump just now? Is it because played? I played this level okay. a million times as a kid. So, I think that what's cool about Sonic games is, a lot of the times when you just jump and you just feel a freedom of motion, the times when you feel instinctually to jump are the times where you make it fine. But that's not instinctual. It, it, that's that's just muscle memory. That's not an instinct to jump because the level warned you. What are you it's, talking about? What are you talking about, instinct? You brought up instinct, you fucking asshole. Yeah, no, but what are you talking about, muscle memory and instinct? I'm not talking about m muscle memory. I'm the talking reason about I jumped was because I've played this you level, played before, the level before, and yeah. there was a muscle memory to just jump at that point. I it wasn't a... obvious that I was supposed to jump at that point. Uh, if you just feel it. That's... You feel it in... But there's a reason why you just feel it. If you are going fast for a long enough period of time, just why not jump? Jumping's fun. Just do it. <laughs> so here, here's here's something that I like about this level, uh, about this game specifically. So what they do is, the first act of, of each world is an old act. Is is an old or, act? Yeah. Is, is is a mixture, a culmination of, of uh, either one to three of the old acts from yeah. the original Sonic games. So, uh, so when you are playing through it, uh. Uh, you you experience a lot of those key moments that that are, are nostalgic for people. I mean, it, it takes the best of of the classic yeah, levels. Yeah, it's it's banking hard on nostalgia. Of course it is. <laughs> uh, yeah, nothing against that. Yeah, and and then so, uh, and then the second act is brand new. 
Yeah. Uh, and and it yeah. sometimes incorporates different uh, elements of different Sonic, classic Sonic levels into different levels to make a fun hot punch. Uh, but this one has a bunch of bouncy shit that was not in the original chemical plan. Yep. Uh, and I think the bounce stuff is fun. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it doesn't, like, again, it doesn't fix problems that I have with the game. Uh, like, like, earning momentum doesn't really buy you anything, especially with a spin uh, mechanic. Um, there, there's still just points where you just run along a track and there's nothing to do and that's the most satisfied you feel because that's what you're supposed to want. You're supposed to earn going fast and doing nothing. Yes. But, but that's not a reward. Doing nothing's not cool. really that's a reward. That's your reward. It, it doesn't even look that cool. Stop laughing. It I doesn't would... look that cool. I, it feels cool. It doesn't it really because it's not me doing it. It's Sonic doing it. It's you doing it because you earned it. I didn't really earn it though. Like for a lot of it. Like a lot of it is... is Spin dash shit. Oh, that was stupid. Uh, a lot of it is is just me, uh, like hitting a hitting a spin dash thing and flying forward like that, and then I just hold something until I go through a Rube Goldberg machine of fucking moving forward. And it feels fun. <laughs> At least it does to me. I'm uh, sure. I